Forecast News 18. Weather from where you live. Unfortunately, we have six more weeks of winter thanks to the groundhog down in Punxsutawney and Pennsylvania. And it's not going to, we're not seeing an end in sight. Unfortunately, we had a soggy start to our weekend. Plenty of snow, 2.9 inches in northern Tippecanoe County, 3.3 closer to Monticello. And notice to our south and east, 6.5 inches just north of Tipton and around the Frankfurt area, and 8.5 closer to Thorntown. And that is all because we had a snow squall move through the area. And it sort of hovered over those counties for a long period of time, which allowed a lot of snowfall down to our south. Here we're just dealing with cloud cover in the area. We're not expecting too much overnight. The clouds should begin to break up closer to midnight, eventually turning partly cloudy once we get to Monday morning. So we will have a nice break from the snow as high pressure starts to move in. Dry and cold start to the work week, and then we're going to have another round of snow move in. And this will arrive Tuesday afternoon into Wednesday. Possible snow accumulation 4 to 8 inches throughout the viewing area. Maybe isolated higher in some locations. Then we have cold air returning after that system moves out with sub-zero low temperatures. So don't blame me, blame the groundhog because he's, he's predicting six more weeks of winter. Unfortunately, right now we're at 21 degrees, pretty much seeing mostly cloudy skies, winds from the north-northwest at 9 miles per hour and around the area. 23 in Kokomo, 21 in Rossville, 20 up in Rensselaer, 18 degrees in Fowler, and 22 degrees currently in Crawfordsville. And this evening, we're going to fall to the teens, seeing mostly cloudy skies to the first part of the evening, dropping to 17 at 10, and then 13 degrees once we roll around midnight, with overnight lows falling in the single digits. 5 degrees in Frankfurt, 3 degrees in Delphi and Lafayette, 3 degrees in Monticello, and 2 for an overnight low up in Winnemac, which means a cold start tomorrow morning, seeing Partly cloudy skies, 4 degrees, climbing up to 14 degrees by noon. And then once again, a high of 22 degrees by 4 p.m. in the afternoon, turning mostly sunny for the afternoon hours. 22 for a high in Delphi, 21 Logansport, 20 in Rochester, and a high of 24 degrees down in Crawfordsville. Future cast shows we're going to stay dry throughout the day on Monday. We'll see mostly cloudy sky or mostly sunny skies in the afternoon. And even overnight, we'll start to see clouds build in again as another system moves in. We'll see cloudy skies throughout much of the day on Tuesday as this system moves in. Once we get to the afternoon hours, this shows Tuesday at 7, and this is going to produce quite a bit of snow. And these are what the, snow, um, the models are looking at right now, 4 to 6 inches for the southern half of the viewing area. But we could see a little bit of an icy mix in the southern counties, and then we have 6 to 8 inches for the northern half of the viewing area. And some of the places could see even higher than 8 inches in isolated locations. But tonight we're not expecting snow, 3 degrees for a low. Partly cloudy skies with wind chills dropping below zero. I'm not going to expect anything below 10 degrees below zero. Winds from the north between 5 to 10 miles per hour. And for your Monday, high of 22 degrees. We'll see mostly sunny skies, and overall it's just going to be a cool day. Winds from the north northeast between 5 to 10 miles per hour. And looking at the week ahead, we'll have a brief break from the snow on Monday, high of 22. And then on Tuesday, that's when we start to see the snow showers move in, especially in the afternoon hours. High of 26 on Tuesday, 24 on Wednesday. Seeing another chance for snow showers just lingering around in the morning hours. Thursday, partly cloudy Friday, and then we'll see mostly cloudy skies. But check out the temperatures. Wednesday night, 3 below zero, 9 for a high on Thursday, and then 4 below Thursday night into Friday. And then we'll have another chance for snow by next week and Saturday and Sunday. High 22 degrees on Saturday and 25 degrees for your high on Sunday. So it just looks like a lot's going on. It looks like the groundhog may be right this year. We'll have to see. <laughs> I'm not happy about that, but we'll just deal with it. All yeah. right, Amber, thank you. When we come back, we're going to have a look at sports. Stay with us.